Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are hanging out with uh, Ditz the Ox. Poor guy. We really, we really need to get him some help. We really do. He's he's working real hard. He's the only guy working. Uh, yeah, working hard or hardly working, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, we're, yeah, we're doing good. We're, we're in Man Lords. We don't have a manor yet, but we are a lord. Presumably. Um, so we are building a farmhouse at the moment. We do have enough goods there. So really, it's just like, can people go over there and start hitting it with hammers, please? Someone? Whenever you're ready. What are you guys gossiping about? This work to be done. You can tell I'm a lord. Um, so anyway, here we are, man lords. We are going to carry on building some things. Uh, we have a mining pit that's getting built, uh, or will be eventually. As you can see, it's a bit of a pit. But it is mine. Uh, and we're also building some more houses. Um, a clay furnace. We're going to get the clay from here, put it in the furnace, make a bunch of um, clay tiles, which hopefully we can sell. That's the idea. I want to get my regional wealth up so I can build more back gardens. I, I think that's what wealth is used for largely. Back gardens, right? I think so. I think so. But until then, I want to sort of let people do their thing. Uh, so this is a uh, trading post. So I'm glad that'll be built. Anything surplus? Oh, new mercenary company is available. We're not going to get attacked. Ooh, hello, new family. Wow. Okay, we have eight families now. That's amazing. Hell yeah. Anyway, we're going to carry on. Uh, hopefully we'll have some surplus things like eggs and stuff that maybe we can sell there. I'm not really sure. But hopefully people come from, you know, another town or region um, to trade with us. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, that's still being built. I thought it got built because that building's done, but no, nope, they're not done yet. They're not properly done. It was just a ruse. Uh, we're also getting these hitching posts built. We are going to have to spend regional wealth, of which we don't have any. What we do, we have five um, to build more folks. I'm a little worried we're going to scare those animals away because we're chopping so many trees down. Oh, we're also building a forest hut so we can start getting more trees growing again. So we'll see how that all goes. So now that this is finished... Ooh, hello. Uh, it says export and import price for everything. And yes, look at that. Ooh. Okay, this counts as a major trade, so we're going to need a trade route before we can sell those. So that's what we need to work on. Uh, if we have a look at Jandorf here. Here, Trade Logistics establishes a new trade route. So it will cost us regional wealth to do that. So in the meantime, we're going to have to sell, like, some other things? I'm not really sure what. Maybe some crops we'll have to sell before long. Uh, got plenty of bread, we're getting some meat in, some eggs. So, okay, it's quite a lot to import them, and not much to export them. Huh. I mean, I know it's always going to be more expensive to bring things in than sell things, but... That's quite... Quite a jump between the two, isn't it? Like, yeah, no one wants to spend a lot on buying firewood from, from outside the place. Uh, that lets us establish a trade route for next to nothing. Interesting. And then that will let us start selling. I mean, it's not terrible. We'll bring up quite a lot of firewood. Can we get charcoal? Okay, charcoal requires a route. Okay. So, what's the difference between establishing a trade route? After paying to establish a trade route, dedicated travelling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade. Only this specific type of good. So I guess they can do, like, bulk? Selling, I suppose? Desired surplus. Locked because the trade rule is set to no trade. Okay. Come on, do I want to sell any? Seems like a waste, right? We're in five months of fuel. And we are going to try and turn that to charcoal. But, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Okay, what else we got? So, materials. Uh, like grain, hides. Yeah, that's where I just was. Construction. I mean, I can sell planks. Yeah, look at that. Roof tiles, though. Eight per roof tile. I'll put, like, I don't know, bundle? Or roof tiles. They come in pallets, I suppose. Alright, let's get someone working here. 
Maybe a couple of people, actually. Because that, that will need to be grown soon. Uh, hang on. Oh, the woodcutter's lodge is for um, fuel. That's for fuel. He has to get firewood. The woodcutter's lodge. Not to be confused with the uh, logging camp. But also... Uh, do, do, do some logistics. Not mining, is it gathering? Yeah, charcoal kiln. So we make a charcoal kiln over here. On the crossroads? Is that where I'd want that? I want to hide it amongst the trees. Yeah, maybe we'll just put it nearby. Yeah, maybe that is what we do. Maybe that is what we do. And that can start work immediately. So I want that to be high priority. Um, it's going to be a while before we get a trade route and things going for all the mining area. So all this area can kind of wait a bit. It can wait a little bit. I want to get this stuff going so we can start getting a bunch of charcoal. Because we can also sell that, potentially. But it just doubles the amount of firewood that we'll have, essentially. It'll double the amount of fuel that we have. But man, look at how many trees we felled. But I guess we do have a ludicrous amount of timber. Yeah, we really don't need so many of you working there. We really don't. We really don't. But it means that we have a couple of unassigned people still. Which is nice to see. Well, I say people. Families. So we can have one here, and then we'll still have one spare. For building things. Saving has finished. Good. Nice work. That's very cute. Very cute indeed. Here, we've got these charcoal kilns. Look at these. Very schmancy. Okay, so that's finished. Let's get someone working on that. I'm a little worried it's going to just take so long traveling, like, stuff from here down to here. But then, like, it's I have to remember it's families. It's not just, like, one guy. One guy can be working there, and then his, like, wife can be, you know, bring things back and forth, or vice versa. Like, there's, you know, there's options. So there's also a bunch of stone here. Big stone deposit. So what's interesting, I don't know if it's only rich deposits or how it works, but apparently some deposits of minerals and things are deep deposits. And uh, if you research, like, deep ore gathering or something, you know, deep mining or something, um, it allows you to get... Um... Ooh, if we upgrade burgage plots a level two or higher, we need to do a couple of those. That's interesting. I can't afford it, though, can I? Uh, requirements not met. Well, what requirements is that? I have no idea. Requirements. Oh, do I need amenities first? There's a question mark here I can click on. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. Okay, I need a church nearby. We have water, I need a church. And maybe I need clothing as well? Huh, interesting. Uh, what was I saying? Something, presumably. <laughs> I don't know, I got distracted. Okay, I got distracted. Um, oh yeah, that was it. So I just get deep mining. Um, these resources become infinite. Well, I don't know if it's these resources. I, I don't know which, you know, which spots have that. Or if it tells you, it might only tell you once you have, um... You know, once you actually have the research, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll find out one day, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll definitely know one day. Yeah, a couple of farmies, farmies, families, farming families, I'm throwing seeds out with absolutely no, no system. They're just randomly throwing seeds around. They're just gonna be like real dense, <laughs> like about the. Vegetables growing here. Well, wheat, not vegetables. But there's like loads of wheat just here. And like here, and here, and here. And then nothing else. Because people are just throwing seeds randomly around a field. But like, you know, good for them. They're having fun, alright? I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna knock it, okay? It's just when they're all starving, because they have no wheat. And I'll, uh, I'll be sure to laugh at them. Um, so yeah, things are going well. I mean, look at this place. It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Get cinematic mode. Look how gorgeous this is. Much gorgeous. 
Yeah, beautiful. Just, just gorgeous. And yes, that is that is the only word I know. When I'm looking at this, it's the only word I know. I usually know more, but not not when I'm looking at this. Really is, you know, idyllic. There you go. There's another word for you. You can have that one. Idyllic. Uh, so, okay, can I start getting people on plank duty? All right, it's going to go nuts. All right, we have no one on construction. All right, maybe not completely nuts. Maybe I don't bother with anyone on timber for a little while. Maybe that's the way to go. That stuff will get built eventually. But, um, yeah, let's actually get a couple people on the saw pit. I mean, it says people are working. But, I mean, I don't buy it. <laughs> go on, go do the thing. Because I've not seen a single person try and work here. And, like, I was set up here for a while, I thought. Look at it. None of them going near it. Guys, the family saw pit. Like, is it because it needs livestock? Is that it? My well, new family started moving in. Lovely. We have ten families. We have ten families now. That's really nice, actually. Public order's very good. People are getting happier. Less food variety now than there was before. Although we have another market. We have another cut. We have a few stools in there now. We've got four different stools. That's so cute. I still I still don't think we have any pl any plank stool. Like, what is your deal? Why does no one want to do anything here? I mean construction reserve is nowhere near that. So hang on. Let's see. Surplus. Imagine you have five planks, space building costs five planks. To build your stock remains five, but surplus becomes zero since reasons get reserved. Okay, so that's total amount. And that's yeah. The reserve. I like how it does that actually, that's really nice. I love that it earmarks things. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, but yeah, why? Why? Why is no one doing this? I just, I don't get it. Look, he's right there. <gasps> Are you going to get a log? Are you going to get a log and come back? <laughs> he's not going to get a log, is he? No one wants to plank. Won't someone please plank? Won't somebody please plank? Look at that, 59. That's great. Oh, and you're you're carrying on finishing the buildings, but <laughs> Christ. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Still nothing. I see this feels like like a like a bug of some kind. Because like, I don't understand why this wouldn't be doing something. I mean, we've got plenty of reserve. Like, I have 24 timber. I'm saying reserve 10. So, like, I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what... They're all waiting. Why are you waiting, though? It's going home. Oh, thanks. Show workplace. Right here. Yeah. So... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just keep them on it for a little while. I have the one family. And now we have, like... You know, a couple more than go here. I don't know if people will move from like one house to another. So we have 13 living spaces. We have 13 living spaces. 10 families. Exposed goods. Why? We have a storehouse. Oh, I need to have someone work there. Right? So they can actually move this. Is that the problem I'm having? Is it because I don't have anything? Ooh, a bandit camp was sighted. Ooh. Oh, God. That looks like a lot of bandits. Where's that? Oh, that's like... So we're over here. So they're quite far away. I guess. And I guess they're not going to attack in the first couple of years. But look at these jerks. Interesting to see what they end up doing. If they just loiter there. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea this is going to go. This is the first time I've seen this. Uh, some berries. Lots of iron. Rubbish clay deposit. We're getting 2,000 clay out of that. So 
a lot of clay, probably. I have no idea. What is one clay? <laughs> one clay, please. Oh. Hang on. Oh. Its own storage of firewood is full. Okay. Okay. Uh. That's got 15 charcoal now. You know what? I might build a storage thing over here as well. Sounds like it's probably a good idea, right? Just so I can store all the charcoal? Because I don't know how much space this has. I mean, 250 is a lot. Uh, so we have 5 months of food, 12 months of fuel all of a sudden. So we do need more food, ideally. So I think I might need to start working this berry deposit. Yeah, straighten this up. So, um, these replenish every year. Which is kind of fun, you know? It's quite cute that they do that. Um, Alright, get rid of those trees. Lovely. And, yeah, let's just go straight there. We're going to destroy a bunch of these roads at some point. The clay furnace is built. But they haven't done the mine yet. Because I put that to low priority. This The furnace is higher priority, even though we have no clay, to fern. Which is what furnaces do. They fern. I just made that up. Don't say that in front of other people. They'll think you're an idiot. So, anyway. Um, God, look at these little houses. Oh, they're just so adorable. I like these little, uh, little posts as well. These little sort of gates. Uh, I don't know why it sent me over here, but it did. I'm over here now. Now this is where they can make tiles, huh? How do they do that? I mean, you see these in kilns. Oh, then do they make hang them on here? Is that what they do? They make, uh... They roll out... Maybe they roll out some clay into strips. They just put them on here. So either end sags. And then they throw them in here. Just made that up. I have no idea. I have no idea. Not a clue. But now I'm kind of intrigued. Now I am kind of intrigued. Uh, so, God, it's autumn, guys. It's autumn. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We need to hurry. Uh, although we have five months of food. That will take us next year. So that's actually fine. It's not a problem. I think we have five months of food. And, you know, that won't even take us to... To the winter, but actually, like, you know, might be alright. I say it's through the winter. It probably won't, actually. It just says autumn year one. It doesn't say what year we're on. So, I'm not sure. Well, now I'm worried. But we are getting loads of fuel. So, the trading post. If we go to trade. Um, uh, no. Commodities? No. Materials. Alright, charcoal is a material. Um, unfortunately, I need to spend 30 wealth to open a trade route for that. But I guess I do have a bunch of firewood. So I could export some of that. Right, just for a bit. Uh, I want to make sure we have a, a surplus of like 50. So that we have enough to carry on making charcoal. And hopefully, we'll make enough that we can, like, get a trade deal for charcoal and start selling some charcoal. Because that's worth so much more. So much more. And, like, we're getting two of these per firewood. So we're actually getting ten times the amount. Which is pretty great. That's like, pretty damn good. Not worth having a bunch of people work here. I mean, I guess I could, actually. But then we'll probably run out of firewood. <laughs> so I probably need more people here. Let's do that, too. Might as well. Might as well. I'm starting to need some clay, perhaps. Uh, let's put that to high priority. For that last remaining builder. Okay. It's going to be really cute when this is just full of market stools. 
People suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs might speed up the recovery, while a very diet helps increase disease resistance. Which I love that that is a thing. So, like, food variety does make people happier, but it also keeps people healthier, which makes a lot of sense. But also, it means someone's got disease. It doesn't spread too much. I'm not sure these people understand um, quarantine, you know? Has germ theory been created yet? Probably not. Probably not. Not for a while yet. This is cool though. Check this out. So, hang on. So, it's autumn. So we do need to start harvesting soon. Uh, we're getting one? What? Oh, is one day left to harvest, is it? Or is it 358 days before harvest? What? I'm really not sure. Were we just too late planting this? Because it was already in like, the middle of the summer by the time we were around to planting it. Is that something that happened? That could very well be something that happened. Okay, yeah. Yeah, our crop growth is at 23%. So, I think we only have one. I think we've created one weed. That's <laughs> just recovering all the seeds again. <laughs> just eating the seeds. That's all that is. I mean, that's all grain is, right? But you've got to thresh it and stuff first. Although, not if you're just picking seeds out of the ground. But, uh, yeah, a little worried. A little worried. A little worried about all that. A little bit concerned. And yet, I don't necessarily know how trade goes. I guess we need someone to be doing it, right? Crap. So yeah, I know, we have no bloody farmer. Let's get rid of you. Alright, we'll see how this goes. But, uh, yeah, I think we need to make sure we have more houses, you know? Well, we've got 11 now. Which is pretty good. 11 families feels like a good amount of families. You know, not terrible. God, look how quaint this is. You can see that the trees are actually um, starting to go yellow. Very cute. God, this whole little extra village over here. And a little mining community. I mean, yeah, the mine's not open yet, but it will be one day. Oh, oh, hang on. So, how did this go? So, crop growth is only 18%. I think they're just harvesting now because it's the end of the year and they have to. So, I think we may end up with three wheat as a result of our farming. Which, um, I'm not going to lie, doesn't feel great. I think that's the only actual wheat that grew. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's pathetic. Oh, new family's moving in. We have another family. Amazing. Uh, where was it? Was it over here? God, look how cute this is with the trees and the back gardens as well. Oh, man. I, I, there's something about this game. It's very charming. You know, it's, it's basically like... I um, don't know if any of you guys ever played Banished. It's like that, but just like... You know, so far beyond in terms of like presentation, you know? That game's very cute. I recommend it. You can usually pick it up pretty cheap. But, uh, you know, all this game. This game works too. It'll be out soon. Oh, yeah, thanks uh, to Hooded Horse, by the way, the publishers of this title, for sending me a key. I hadn't mentioned them before. Uh, because I always forget to thank people for sending me a key. I'm usually too. Uh, first, trying to tell my audience what the game is and, and trying to have a good time with it for your enjoyment. But, uh, you know, it is nice being able to play a game like this early. You know, it is lovely to be able to sit down and play something like this. Um, kind of fresh, you know? Okay, so two? Am I getting two? All right, let's have a look at our resources. I guess it'll be up here somewhere, right? We have eight wheat. 
We have eight wheat. That's not that very much wheat. But I think we might be about to get a little bit more. Maybe. Are you are you ploughing it again? I think they might. Okay, I don't know why that's hovering weird. It's because there's a guy behind us. Nope, that's just gone a bit funny. I think it's because the number keeps changing because they're currently ploughing it. Yeah, 55%. 56. So yeah, it's going up. It's ticking up. Um, so they're ploughing it again now for some reason. Does that not seem... Oh, so check that out. They've actually stepped... It's done a step. See, it's on the next year now. Because that was uh, a third year thing that I did. So this is actually the second year that they are preparing. But it's not that they haven't cleared all of this yet. Like, they're not done harvesting. So I guess they were done. And this is just, like... Nothing. I mean, it very much looks like wheat, but apparently it's not wheat. That's just a funny joke. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All right. So how are we doing for trading? We have done some trade. We have 16 regional wealth now. Big thumbs up. Uh, wow, food variety is eight. Plus eight we got for that. So if I have a look... Oh, that was it. Uh, 141 firewood and 19 charcoal. Wow. Okay, that's an astonishing amount of firewood. You guys can stop that and we'll have more charcoal being produced, please. Amazing. Oh. So that means that we have plenty of uh, firewood to sell, which should give us enough to get a trade route for charcoal pretty soon. And then we'll just make sure we have a stock of, like, a year's worth of charcoal. You know? And, uh, yeah, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Oh, that's awesome. So, I don't know um, how trading is working exactly. If I go to people, I can see people running around. Uh, generic? It just said generic storage full. I think it was one of the, um, one of our production buildings. Like, its own storage was full. I think someone just moved it. So that's good news. So that requires refueling, interestingly. Oh, that is done. So I could start trying to get um, clay tiles done as well. But that would mean having all of our families assigned. But then saying that, do I have any construction projects on the go at the moment? I don't think I do. I actually don't think I do. So there's, there's nothing needs building. So I'll just have everyone working. Because we do have a little bit extra space, right? One. We have one space left. So maybe I should... Cancel that. And I'll build some more houses around here somewhere. And we'll get... Once, once those are built. Then I'll be happy. Um, I'm going to leave some space... Right, this is this one going through is like a main road. Um, so I'm going to leave some uh, some space, I think, between the main road and houses. I don't know what I'll put there yet, but potentially some decoration or something. Um, see, something like that? Is that too much? Perhaps. Or maybe I should actually just use this little little wiggly bit, because that's kind of cute. Just to have this full. Too small. Too small. So I guess not. Alright, road. Alright, road. Let's remove that. And let's build that out a bit further. Okay, now that'll do. Probably a bit big now, actually. Um, and I'll make... Yeah, I suppose we should make this the front. Alright, so my plan of leaving a little space 
between our main road um, is done. That's quite a lot of room. Is that too much room? Was that is that too many buildings? Perhaps. Okay, that's nicer. I like that. I like that. I think that's cute. And I'll do um Do something like that too. Let's have little back gardens next to the kilns. Alright. So that's quite cute. Yeah, it works for me. Uh we never built this other storehouse. Oh yes we did. Yes we did. So you can assign families to storehouses. God, that's actually getting really full. Um, they're gonna find assigned families to them. I don't know if they just like they work like Teamsters do in Tropico, where like they will just ferry things to where they need to be, or or what. We have a bit of clay from here. We got a couple of clay from that like half a second that we had someone working here. This is actually refueled right now. I don't know if it doesn't use fuel if people aren't there. I can give it reserves as well. I can get five reserves. Let's see if that's that's a good shout. Yeah, I am enjoying these little little areas, different industries. Winter is approaching. I guess it didn't want to say winter is coming because that would seem a bit um a bit silly, you know. But uh, this is still scary. We don't have much food. Oh, and I did have. Where is it? Oh, this this was built as well. Ah. Oh no. We can't build any more houses now. Because we're out of space. Or we're out of families. Uh, we've got no one logging. So I guess we've got plenty of timber right now. And we have planks now. We actually have planks. Oh, finally. Finally. Which actually means, if we go to administration, uh, we need a small village first. Oh, check that out. That's my little manor. Ah, It's so quaint. Don't know where to put it. I mean, this is a nicer area. Maybe I'll put it, like, here. Between, like, the farmhouse and a lot of the housing. And I'll have a, you know, I'll just have a little road going to it. But I mean, it does say required settlement level small village. Or is this required to do that? Next settlement level is medium village. Oh, so okay. We I think we've unlocked that. That requirement then. Wait, castle planner? Oh, jeez. This is a work in progress feature. Here you can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. When you press commit, the old layout will disappear and the new one will be constructed. For now, the cost is, is also fixed. Oh, damn. Okay. I think maybe I should put it in a little bit more space then. Which I can do. Brilliant. Uh, should I just put it here, though? I think I think I probably do. Okay. How do I rotate you? I have no idea. Uh, hold to rotate before placement. So, remove placed module. Destroying place forbidden, because that's literally the center. Okay, fine. Um, these construction costs all have things. Hang on. Oh no, that is slightly different. So we've got a tax office, which I assume we need. Oh, cosmetic only. Increases maximum retinue size by 12. Oh, and there's roads to place as well. It's <laughs> just going to be that. Outer tower. Oh, okay, I can... Oh, wow, well, it expands it. Somehow. Walls and gates. Okay, we have walls and gates. Okay. 
I want to build a little gatehouse for us. Okay, that's very sweet. Uh, I don't think I want to do that, though, because I think I want to make more um, more outer towers. We have a garrison tower. Wow, hello there. Okay, this can be part of this same building, I think. And then this one. Can go here. Do something like that. And, uh... Yeah, okay. Something like that. And like that. And let's get rid of this one. And walls and towers. Okay, they are going to bend, apparently. Can I not have it? Oh, but just curve. Not control. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's good. There. Alright, how's that seem? Okay, well that one's in a bit of a funny spot. But we can adjust that. Okay, so here's my castle. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I like it, you know? I like it. It's it's a bit silly. It's not very very exciting right now. Um Let's remove that. I feel like all of this is um just like completely wrong. Let's go like this. Or maybe like this? No, let's go like this. Okay, let's go like that. Place roads. From there to there. That is not a road. I did think that looked a bit strange. So, place roads. From here. Again, that this doesn't feel like a road. That feels a lot like a fence. I just destroyed that house. Okay. Let's remove that road. <laughs> Let's rebuild the tax office. Okay, we'll build it here. Okay, good. Now, can we, can we place roads? Okay, yeah, that's placing roads now. There we go. It's not. That's not placing roads. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Now, I can't commit because I can't afford any of this. So, then I close it and nothing happens. <laughs> okay, I thought it would let you put the blueprint down. Uh, now I'm trying to build a manor. It doesn't say I have any of the resources. Which I think I may have just... Limit reached. What limit? Oh, there's the manor. That manor seems to have been trying to build over there. I guess it's because the plan moved? I don't know. Either way, I'm building a manor over here now. And uh, it's just like a little house. And there's nothing around it. So, okay. Well. <laughs> I have no idea. But hey, work in progress, guys. Don't worry about it. Let's remove that road. Uh, another family's joined. That, I think, means we're full now. Right? We've got 13 families. It says plus 8, though. I don't know what that plus 8 is. You know? It's like 30 living space, plus 8. It's like, well, okay. So, do you mean 21? 
Not sure. Okay, it says they're all occupied right now. So we do need to be building more. Which we have now done. Low population growth. Neutral approval. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Alright, well done, fam. Well done. See, it really is just food is the problem here. That's seasonal. We are getting some berries. Just some. Okay, we have 18 regional wealth now. Yeah, so that whole trying to build a... A manor didn't quite work out. We have a limit of one, so I don't know if I have to then move this. I'm really not sure how that's going to work out. But I'm glad we're building some more properties. As well as building our manor. So our manor comes with a retinue. So we should be able to defend ourselves a little bit better. If, uh, if we do get attacked. Which is nice. Nice to know. So tempted to go, more vegetables. No, we need, we need the money for the big trade. So we can start selling charcoal. Because we have loads of charcoal. Like, honestly, like a crap load of charcoal now, right? 57 charcoal. And 170, like, firewood. It's amazing. That was a bunch of birds running across the screen? Running. <laughs> birds. Running. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Running. Nice one, Janet. Birds. Famous for running through the air. Uh, so another thing we really need to do with the hitching post is buy more of these. So it's 20. It costs 20 regional wealth to get more of them. That is definitely a factor that we need to, like, overcome, I think. So we're in November now, so we're not quite in winter. We're not quite in winter. Oh, also, it literally says the month right next to the thing. So whenever I hover over it, I just see the, the icon that we're on. But no, it actually says November. I don't know if it's this episode or the previous one. I was like, oh, it doesn't really say what month you're on. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like, in words. Like, what more do you want? Um, anyway. I'm still feeling my way around the game. But, I mean, we're building a manor. So that feels like progress. You know, we've got a lot of houses. People are still moving in. Oh, the sleet is coming. You can tell. Look at that. Look at, look at the earth. It seems more frosty, doesn't it? Definitely feels colder. They've done a very good job with the um, the vibe. Some reasons disappear when it gets cold. So let me guess. Okay, I didn't I didn't want to zoom out that much. Uh, that's that's a resource that's removed, isn't it? Shrinking. Ugh. All right. Oh, don't you worry. Bring this here. Move that there. Yeah, I'll get people back on there. The end of winter. And some some wild animals. I'm right, getting some storage. Got more family members moving in. That's great news. And we have loads of houses. Uh, I do need a little bit more regional wealth, though. It would be nice if more trade could occur. And we have a little bit more food, actually. Six months' food now. So one factor as well that I'm not really paying attention to is we have more people moving in. They're going to eat more. Because people eat food. I know. I'm as surprised as you are. But I have a good authority that people eat food. So I do need to make sure that, like, we have our food situation sorted, I think. I'm a little bit worried about the, the lack of farms. Oh, the snow's starting to settle. Well, we're going to be getting through firewood now, aren't we? Or, you know, people can go work in the mine. That'll warm them up. There you go, lads. Keep you lovely and warm. Brilliant. They've got iron there as well. Not much, though. Very small deposit, 88. At least it seems very small. We've got like a thousand there. You know, 2,000 clay. But then I guess how much iron is a lot of iron? I, I really don't know. God, look how cute this is. It looks like a totally different village now. This is great. We've got a little bit of extra cash. We have 50. 50 regional wealth. Oh my god, we no wonder we're the lord of our manor. We are crushing it. Alright, trade. Uh, materials. Alright, charcoal. Let's establish a trade route. Boom. Uh, export. 
And let's make sure we always have a surplus of 25. Doing five each. We are going to have so much regional wealth. We're going to have like a thousand oxen. It's going to be amazing. All right, I'm going to have more oxen than you can even imagine. Like, you don't even know, guys. You don't even know. You you can't imagine the oxen that I will I will be bringing to bear upon our enemies. I'm forgetting what oxen are used for. Um, but yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm going to start getting some money in. And then I can start taxing it. Which is used for something, I guess. I'm not really sure, to be honest. <laughs> I don't really know what it does. We have one family building now. Which might be a problem. We might also need to start getting more timber. Fairly soon. Uh, we're also, we're not planting anything new. Which is something I should definitely do. Let's, um... Okay, I know, taxation, I just... Oh, we only have one of the charcoal kill. Crap. Alright, let's pause it a second. Click on the taxes tab. After selecting your mana to set levels of taxation, tax can boost your treasury and influence. Uh, which presumably is somewhere up here. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, oh, up here. Treasury and influence. Uh, so there's annual royal tax. So we're going to start paying the king as well at some point. Which is um, concerning. Uh, this is used to hire our retinue and mercenaries, as well as settling new regions. Interesting. Interesting. Build a manor to enable taxation in any control region. Alright, oh, so we need to build a manor wherever. Cool. Very cool. Alright, so charcoal kiln and the woodcutter's lodge I want to keep going. Oops, saving's finished. Cool. I'm going to turn someone off this storehouse. Assume I don't need them. And, um... I was even pin buildings as well. So, the forest is hard. Yeah, we'll start planting more trees. That sounds like a good... idea. Um... We have a couple of people at the mine. So I'll take one off. I have one person there too. I'm sure that'll all work out great. Cool. Alright, moving on. We still have 20 regional wealth, you know. Wait, what? Hang on. What the hell are you talking about? How... What did you steal? How did you steal anything? I mean, it, cut... it sent me to them, but like... Surely that must mean they're around, right? Like, I don't see them. What, what did they steal? And from where? I have no idea. You think it would take me to where they are? Or is it just that them being there? That's almost just like representing bandits, you know? And that, like, yeah, you can go and fight them, but just them being there represents a bandit threat nearby, so we're just going to lose resources every now and then to, to bandits. Is that what's going to happen? Maybe. No one seems to care that we just lost food to bandits, which is weird. Total population is 52 now. 16 families out of 18 plus 3. <laughs> I, I still don't understand what the plus 3 means. Okay, so we've got... Plenty going on around here. Uh, yeah, so I want to upgrade some of these. So, what are the requirements? Is it just that I need more timber? Because I do have that much timber. You know what? Do we have more? We don't have more development points yet. Although it does say policies are available. So, citizen skip every fifth meal, reduces food consumption, decreases approval. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, hunting grounds. Wild animals on rich deposits breed, breed, breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yields from crops. Okay, interesting. Huh. And then production is something. Alright, well, that's all fine, I guess. I, I have no idea. Don't know what's going on there. But sure. Sure, 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 sure. Ok, 
Okay, we've got more plots being built. Uh, can we start trying to get hides? Let's get some goats. Get some goats over there. It's like we're making money now. We're making some cash. You know? We're making some cash. Uh, we are going to need to start doing things like... Uh, well, we need we need something for the wheat, right? Like, we're getting wheat, then we don't do anything with it. So I need to do something with it. Um, but what, though? Oh, also, we probably need a well. Oh, we have a well over here, right? Or do we? Yes, we do. We built one there. Uh, we have, like, one over here, but I'm not sure we have one over here. Um, there's not a lot of water around here. Like, at all, in fact. See where the water's running. Just a, we put houses in, like, a big gap. It should say if they have water. It does say if they have water access. Okay. So, apparently, wells serve quite... quite a large area. It doesn't seem to show what that area is, though. So we'll just have to be careful, I guess. We do need a church at some point, don't we? See, I think I need to start logging again. I think we do need more timber. We're really running low on timber. Which means we're not getting more... Um... We're total goods. I want to see surplus. Silly. But yeah, we need more timber. So we can get more planks. So yeah, we need to work this. Although it also means we don't need to work that at all. There's no point. Hmm. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's end it here for today. Uh, I'll have a think about what we're going to try and do next. It seems like we are making it through the winter, you know? I think I think things are looking rather nice for the winter. We have enough food, we have enough fuel. We have, like, a, a whole fuel-based economy for this town right now. That's what our economy is based on, is fuel. So, like, we're good on that front. But, uh, yeah, everything else, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.